Hello everyone, Nina Garcia here, host of Cocoa Caliente. How's everybody doing out there? Been a minute, but I'm back. Well, today I have a special guest on my podcast, and Maria Hernandez is here with me today. Hi everyone, how you doing? Nina, it's so good to see you. Yes, yeah, she's back again. She's back again. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. That's what I'm loving about it. Oh, thank you. Better than ever. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I'm so happy to be here. It's been a while. I know. I know. It's been a while. We've been having this big uh, COVID thing going on. I but know. We got to keep pushing it, right? We got to keep Absolutely. working. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yes. so much has happened. Even though with the COVID and everything, so much yes. has happened since our last um, interview. Ooh, Absolutely. <laughs> and, and that's what we're here. We're here to have some updates. We got awesome updates today with Maria Hernandez. <laughs> and I can't wait to hear it. So Maria Hernandez, author yes. of Trap yes. 1, Trap 2, yes. creator of the movie Trap as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, the movie, you know, I, I filmed last year. What's up, fellas? What's good, man? Yo, what up? Yo, yo, chill, chill. Yo, where's your partner, man? Yo, don't worry, she'll be here, man. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Uh, here, no. as you know. And I am now, the movie's now um, in distribution. It's in a distribution with um, Roku TV through CBTV, Caribbean Buzz TV. And it's been doing fantastic. I'm really, really happy with it. Yes, the movie is good. You guys got to go out there and watch that movie. It's a good movie. Not, not Thank because, you. Not because I was in it, but, you know. <laughs> you should have known better. You're my friend, Linda. I told you this was a bad idea, but you just never listened. I told you. You know he's mad disrespectful. That's that bullshit, man. That's right. Well, you did a great <laughs> part. You did great. You yes. did great in it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was given the opportunity to be in that movie, and I'm loving it. Thank you. You're welcome. The I mean, I, I, I had fun filming. It was a great experience, you know, to film the movie. I learned a lot, yes. you know, and it um, propelled me to do other things now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing so many other things. My creative juices flowing like crazy oh, and wow. oh goodness i'm writing like crazy i'm writing another movie i'm you know penning for part two see you know how i could do it whether do it in a series or do it in a movie more than like wow. a series and um i'm also doing a play oh i'm Who loving would this have thought? I, I i i'm tackling a play one of the things i've learned is um to learn to do things that I've never done before and just tackle yes. them. And I've been doing the, I've, I've been writing a play and I've, I'm like, it's a little romantic comedy kind of thing, you know, oh, dr oh. Dr dramedy kind of play. Uh -huh. And um, I'm hoping that once the corona ceases to exist and mm -hmm. we're able to go out there that, you know, well, I'll be able to get it out there. Yes. You know, I want to start it off in a small theater and see how that goes and take it from there. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to be all in there. <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm going to be the nosy one <laughs> Thank in the you. front row. Hey, like, go, you go, Maria. <laughs> Girl power. Girl power. Thank you, my love. I, 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 I do appreciate it because, yes. you know, I'm... I appreciate the time I've had. I've had this whirlwind between writing the books, mm -hmm. the movie, yes, you know, and, and doing some more writing. It's just like inspired me to do so many other things. It's inspired me. One of the things I want to do is I'm, I'm tackling about um, starting a nonprofit. Oh, okay. Yes. Let me tell you, I'm from the projects. Right, and um, I remember when I was a kid in the projects, I used to dream big, but the issue was the project, kids in the projects don't have the opportunities as other kids do. Right, right. So that's where my nonprofit comes in, you know, where oh, okay. I want to start a nonprofit. And um, what I want to do is get kids from the projects that have different talents. They don't have to be particularly writers. 
Absolutely. They could be actors, they could be athletes, they could be, you know, whatever. And just get them going, get the resources, get them yeah. the resources that they need. Yes. So that's yeah. another thing that, you know, I'm, yes. I'm tackling. And that's good that you're thinking, you know, about these children because it's amazing how there are so many gifted children out there Absolutely. That, um, that are not given an opportunity. They're gifted and they never been to uh, acting school, they never been to music school, mm -hmm. and, and and they haven't gotten an opportunity just because they haven't been in a school. Absolutely. And these kids are born with that gift. That I, you know, you giving them that opportunity, it's just amazing. Thank you, thank you. I mean, it, it, it's something that I was thinking about for a long time. And now that I've had the, the avenue and the opportunities with the movie and with the books and, you know, everything else, I really, really, really want to tackle that because oh, I great. really, really want to get people, I want to get these kids out there. And and honestly, you know, I'm, I'm a woman of a certain age. I'm not ashamed to say I'm 57 years old. Damn! And you look great. Oh, well, thank you. you look great. And, uh, <laughs> but one of the things also that I want to talk about is a lot of people are of a certain age and they're afraid to start something that they love. Yes. Because they like, oh, I'm too old or old. I'm too, and what I'm learning is I, I want to tell people and I want to, through the, through the nonprofit, mm -hmm. what I want to teach them is it's never too late. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that I want to put into the nonprofit, not yeah. just, you know, the children, you know, older people. There mm -hmm. could be older adults in the projects that maybe they Absolutely. want to pen a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a story to tell. I always tell you that. Yes. Everyone has a story to yes. tell. Yes. And that's Absolutely. what I want to do. They do? Mm -hmm. They do. We <laughs> all have a story to tell and, um, and we have similar situations, but they can never be the same. Um, and it's good for us to go out there and share our story with the world. Our stories can be it can be inspirational to others. You might Absolutely. think they're not, but they actually are, because I have gotten inspired by other people's stories myself. Well, I've heard how many people have come up to me and have told me, you know, your book, I identify with Angelina. Mm -hmm. I identify with Linda. Yes. I identify with Daryl. Oh God, I've met many Daryls. You know? Yes. And and um I did an interview with a young lady not too long ago. She started a podcast and it warmed my heart because she said, because of what you did and your books, it inspired me to start my podcast. Exactly. And I'm like Oh damn! You know, I, and you don't realize the impact you have on other people mm -hmm. until they tell you. And when I heard that, it really blew me away, and I felt bad. I admit, I cried. I'm a crybaby. I, I cried because, and that's good to cry. It's yeah. good to cry. Well, you know, I I can say you also have inspired me as well, because after you get you gave me the opportunity to be part of your movie. And, and, and I was actually, was like, you know what I mean? I want to shadow, because I, I want to learn to be an independent filmmaker and stuff like that to mm -hmm. that nature. And it was like one thing led to another where all of a sudden I'm in Maria's movie. Yes, you are. And, and, and um, I was questioned, you know, do I know how to act? And I said, well, the only acting I ever do is yell at my kids. And right. you know what? I guess that worked. I don't know. I mean, I read the And script. I thought perfect. And I said, <laughs> and, and, and the fact that you gave me the opportunity, yes. that inspired me. It, yes. it, you motivate me yes. because I'm like, wow, I, I can really do this. And I did it. And ever since. It's... And you see how I did it with you and I did it with the other young yes. lady. That's what I want to do with others. That's yes. that's one of the things that I want to um, work with others because I know there's so many people out there that just have that idea. Mm -hmm. It's just getting it yes. on paper yes. or getting it together. That's what I want to bring. So that's one of the things that I want to really tap on, on, you know, I want to start on. And that's good. That's good. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the outcome mm -hmm. of it. Thank Everything you. you do is so good. Oh, you are thank so you. good at what you do. <laughs> you really you. are. And you and you know what I can say, um, working with you, uh, you were so good to the cast. Oh, thank you. you know? I appreciate it. I wanted I wanted the cast to feel as comfortable as possible. Yeah. And um, you know, I, I wore so many hats. 
in that movie. Yes, you did. <laughs> I wore, I was the caterer. Remember, I was the wardrobe person. I would do the ironing. I would make the coffee. I remember there was a scene. There was a young lady that um, she said, "You know, I went to hang out last night and I am hung over. And I, I'm gonna do the scene, but I'm really hung over." Yeah. I said, "Okay, gotcha." I went and I got some, I did the pot, I got some coffee. I made the strongest Bustelo coffee that I could get. And I gave it to her and I told her, here, here's the coffee. And, you know, she drank it. And after a few minutes, she was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm like, okay, Charlie, come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's get it together. Yeah, you, you, you know? did good. And 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 I wanted, um, you know, made sure that everyone would, you know, the foods that were there that were to everyone's liking. Um, everyone felt comfortable. Yes. I was, I felt like the mother hen. <laughs> you were doing everything. Oop. You was like the instructor, <laughs> the director, the mother, the everything, the friends. And, and you made everyone feel comfortable. You made the cast feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And, and I, it's something that it, it's not easy to do no, in isn't. your position no. because you, you have so much happening. And, and mm -hmm. that's that's great. I mean, I will always would love to be working with you. Oh, like, thank I, you. I would jump on it like, Maria, the you. Movie, I'm going. You know, because it, it was so, it was so much fun. Even though I had to travel, you know, I didn't think about the traveling part. I thought about when I got there, you know, it's just the way you greeted me, oh. you know, and the way you treated me and the way you feed, you, you fed me very well. I was not hungry. No, I made sure. <laughs> well, that's the Puerto Rican in me. You yes, already know. Yes. You all, you Puerto Ricans, you all know what I mean. We feed people, you know, yes. we feed everyone. Yes, we do. So I made sure that, you know, everyone ate. Yes. Because I knew if everyone had a full stomach, they were going to work well. Yes. If they had an empty stomach, you know, who was going to work well on an empty stomach? No one. I don't. You know, no so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that everyone was comfortable. I'm really glad that everyone got to um, be, feel comfortable in the movie. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because... Yes. First of all, they'll they'll want to work with me again yes, <laughs> in the future. I do. I <laughs> in the do. future. And second of all, is it's just the right thing to do. Let's not leave out how it was an award-winning movie. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, at the Urban Action Showcase Film yes. Festival, it won um, for best um, action feature film yes. at the at the film festival. That was such a magical night. Yes. I felt like Cinderella for real. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You know, and it's funny because I'm sitting there with everyone, right? And I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I close my eyes and I said a prayer. And I said, well, God, you're in charge. Mm -hmm. You already know the outcome. But inside, I'm like, I hope I win. 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 So now... My eyes are closed because yeah. what they do is that they show on the screen. They won't announce it. They'll yeah. just show it on the screen. Yeah. The movie is that one. Uh -huh. I hear all of you screaming. Uh -huh. And I'm like, everybody's screaming. I'm with my eyes closed like this. And I'm like, everybody's screaming. We probably won. So I'm opening my eyes like this. And when I saw Trapped yes. as the winner, I was like, oh. look, I get choked up now. Yes. Because I, I'm, I still remember. I was like, oh. Yes. And everybody yeah. started hugging me, and you all started hugging me, and then we go walking over to to the stage, and I get the award, and I'm looking at the award, and I'm like, this is mine. Still believe it. <laughs> I'm like, this is mine. Yes, you know? it's yours. It was it was the best experience in the world. Yeah. Because all of the hard work, all of the the the, the, the foods and the cooking and the coffee and the this, it all boiled down to that moment. Yes, it was it was worth it. It was. It, it was, was worth it. it. It's well worth it, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to do so many other things because that that moment really inspired me. Mm -hmm. Win or lose, you know, as long as I get to do something that people get to see. Yeah. Well, not only did it win an, an award, but it was uh, number one most watched on Roku. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, I, that that's also very well like very good you know that moment another 
moment where I just cried my eyes out. <laughs> and I cried because um, I get the text from the people at Caribbean Beat and they tell me, you know, the text basically said, um, your movie is number one. And I'm like, again? I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. I'm like, your movie is the one most viewed. And then what um, Nigel did, because Nigel is the owner of the Caribbean Buzz TV, and what Nigel did was Nigel did a recording and showed, because you know, once it goes into the number one spot, it'll go all the way up front because it's the most viewed. And um, I don't have the exact numbers on how that, so I'm getting that. But it, when I saw that it was number one, I'm like, there you go. Trap again. Holy crap. <laughs> I, I, oh, my little, you know, and it's funny because it's like a little story that started out of my own experience. Yes. That's where it started. An idea. Yeah. In 2009. Yes. You know, and look at it now, award-winning, most watched on Roku. That's what I tell you guys. You know, you, you you're listening to her story, and it's very. This is why I I became very inspirational from you know about Maria because it, it's just listening to her story and and just being there to see how happy she was. It it, it was. Oh my God! It's like a dream come true. It's it's the the moments, those high moments. Yeah. So it's, you it's know? hard work paid off for you, and this is this is the mo the key to to your success. You put in the hard work, and it pays off. Yes, it pays off. Yes, yes it does. It yes, off. it does. And that's the whole key: mm -hmm. hard work. Yes, because you know, you, I I can't just sit back and say, okay, well, let my movie, you know do what it's got to do no it's got to go out there i've got a network you know yes, i've got to drive from harlem over here to come to interviews mm -hmm. you know I've, and, and and i don't mind doing it yes. but it, it just goes to show the things that an artist has to do in order for them to um to to move ahead you know it, it's very easy to say, okay, I wrote a book and voila, and that's all I gotta, you know. Yeah, no, you gotta put in the hard work. You no. gotta put the time, the effort, promote, and do stuff like that. You know, Maria, I, I tell you, I, I love the fact that you accepted my invite for the second time. Oh, no problem. <laughs> and, and I want you to tell everyone, let everyone know where they can plug you at, your movie, YouTube channel, everything you have. I want everyone to know who Maria is, just like I know her. Oh, okay, well. Um, I'm on Instagram. Instagram is um, ny underscore Rican underscore productions. And um, Facebook, Maria Tuti Hernandez, T-U-T-I-E. That's my nickname. That's my childhood nickname. And you can also um, find the movie on Roku. It's on Roku Apple, and Apple TV as well and Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Stick. But it's all through um, Roku, through Caribbean Buzz TV. And um, the books are available at Amazon, which is um, Trapped. May I show? Sure. Oh, okay. Trapped. Here's Trapped. This is the one that um, the movie's based on. Mm -hmm. And this one right here is Trapped 2. As you can see, it's a pretty thick book. Yes, it is. And um, this is the one that, you know, I'm working on right now to see how we're going to do it, whether in a script form or whether in a series form. I'll be back to tell you on the I point. know, and I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Well, guys, it was a pleasure having you oh, here Oh, it was great it's to be here. It's always a pleasure here. having you. you you're, you're such a great person. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. And guys, I, you guys already know, Nina Garcia, host of Cocoa Caliente. Don't forget to get out there at Amazon.com. Very good book. Awesome Smashwords.com. <laughs> and you get my book, The Scars That Save Us. And I also have my website, www.ninajsproductions.com. Thank you all for following me. Don't forget to press that button and subscribe because it's free, okay? It's free. That's support, right. support. Love you all. See you soon. Ciao. Mm. Take care.